Hello everyone. This video we are going to look for Indian Institute of Technology for Madras. They announced for PhD admission for 2025. For this, you need to apply before 3rd April 2025. Earlier they announced for 28 March 2025. Right now they extended this uh, respective last date. Okay. So this will be the premium institute. Earlier we posted for QS world record. Whatever universities will be appeared for uh, in the world record out of 500. Okay. And uh, this university, this respective institution also appeared for uh, for the perspective of India. Okay. So this will be the great institute for Indian Institute of Technology for Madras. So from here, if you want to do for MS or PhD, how you can do it? Okay. What are the qualification is required? Whether they are conducting for entrance examination or not? Okay. And what basis they will conduct? What are the requirement will be there for uh, domestic person as well as for uh, foreign person? Okay, as well as for NRI. These all details we are going to look in this video. So without making delay, we can go ahead and look. If you are a first time user, you can subscribe this channel and keep on watch. Okay, for getting all insights. Once complete, completed this video, really if it is like, you can give a like button as well as comment below if there is any queries available or else this information is really helpful to you or not then only i will make it for more video for PhD aspirants okay whenever the notification coming for all over india immediately in our channel you will get it okay okay let's see the f uh, important date for uh, this information it has been started the portal has been opened on 11th november 2024 okay and closing date 28 march 2025 at 5 pm okay and recently they extended for the application that is 3rd april 2025 around 5 pm instead of 28 march so written test and interview will be intimated by the department so not for conducting all the people need to write for the written test as well as for the interview so they will sh uh, shortlist for the candidate those person only you can write for the examination so that they will intimate later after scrutiny for the application okay and same way result also they will publish later only this is the admission for july 2025 they are conducting phd admission okay this is what the important date especially for this one and what is the fees they are collecting in a sense in a different criteria they are collecting for different amount gentle ev ews obc non creamy male candidate in a sense thousand rupee okay transgender as the same category but uh, obc transgender candidate for thousand and uh, if it is a female candidate for obc in a sense you can pay for 500 general evs obc non-creamy layer female candidate okay so these category female candidate you can pay for 500 and sest candidate both male and female you have to pay for 500 pwt candidate male and female you need to pay for 500 okay and application fee is non-refundable that has clearly mentioned and for the foreign per perspective foreign national including PIO and OCI overseas citizenship of India okay as well as uh, this PIO will be person of Indian origin okay those were uh, Indian origin as well as overseas citizenship of India these two cards holder or exempted from paying the application these people not required to pay for the fees okay that is what the information they have given this will be the good for those people actually these people they need to pay a fees but uh, anyhow uh, they have uh, given for the exemption of these categories and next we can look what all the department they are conducting for uh, this admission in a sense various department will be available and especially this channel mainly focus for the management right so from here if you're looking in a sense aerospace engineering applied mechanics biotechnology civil engineering chemical engineering computer science and engineering chemistry engineering design electrical engineering hum humanities and social sciences mathematics mechanical engineering 
metallurgical and material engineering management studies over here for the management studies if you are looking for general candidate 7 seats and ews 2 obc is 5 seat allotted s seat is 2 and st is 1 totally 17 if you are applying for phd and by the way if you are going to apply for ms for the management studies available totally 10 seats that is you are for 1 evs EWS for one seat, OBC three, SC two, ST zero. So depends upon the seat availability. Okay, you can look and after that you can apply. Okay, these are all the department they are inviting for the PhD as well as for MS, and their seat availability also they mentioned clear. And next, what are the eligibility criteria? Okay, what eligibility is required for applying for this PhD in a sense? This is only for the management students, okay. I will show you, I will give you a link for the brochure, okay. Whatever department and what will be the qualification is required for uh, later we can look those things. But uh, currently we are looking for management, okay. So as you are doing for PhD in a sense, master degree or two year PG diploma in a relevant discipline and a bachelor degree with good academic record minimum five years of undergraduate and postgraduate okay normally ug will be three years in india and pg is two years so that is what they have mentioned over here or else you have to do for five integrated courses okay master dual degree or equivalent relevant discipline with good academic record okay that is what the criteria they have mentioned and they have mentioned here apart from the education you need to complete for national level examination also you should qualify for the national level examination that is either gate cat ugc or csir net or grf or equivalent international level postgraduate level examination such as gmat gre okay it's a non hst or a non hst or a in a sense if it is not required for the stipend in a sense you people you can complete this one gmat or gre this is especially for uh, foreign national people they will mention over here and suppose if you did not have this qualification in a sense you should have at least five years of managerial experience the layu of above examination you not even write these examination but if you are having for five years managerial experience you will be eligible but you will not get four uh scholarship okay you will come under non hstra candidate only okay and for master degree in engineering technology with good academic record or master degree by research in engineering technology in a relevant discipline or exempt from qualifying in national level examination so two criteria has been given you should have a qual educational qualification as well as for national level examination okay or else if you did not have national level examination in a sense you should have uh, industry experience in a managerial level for five years and for the second category they have given if you have completed for engineering degree with a good academic record okay that is what they have given and another one candidate with mba or two-year pg diploma centrally funded technical institute those who are having for 80 and above okay and you should or you did not write for any national level examination that person also eligible okay this is a good thing because those people are having for 20 years of experience will be there but uh, they focus for industry after that they think to join for phd again they need to study and write the ugc net examination in a sense it is a little bit tough they need to study all those things but these kind of people only they have given this kind of criteria really it is invited a uh, special point of view those who are doing for industry work in terms of ms if you are looking in a sense national level entrance eligible test such as gate okay if you want for uh, scholarship okay history or a means for uh, scholarship if you want in a sense you need to complete national level entrance or else international level postgraduate admission qualifying examination this is also you need to complete either this one or else this one gmat or gre for non hst you people those who completed this one you will not eligible to get for hst or a you will come under non hst or a for oci nri foreign national okay these people only come under this one those people not get for stipend 
Candidate having qualified in MFT, that is my major field test, will also be eligible for admission of MS program if the concerned department apt for it. So they will shortlist first and after that they are thinking that you need to write for examination in a sense, you should write the examination. Next, minimum educational qualification B, B Tech or equivalent, first class, 60% in aggregate, 4 year professional degree like AMIE. This you can do as a uh, distance also AMIE or equivalent program in a relevant discipline with first class, 60% markers, aggregate. Okay. If you uh, have a qualification of B, B Tech in a sense, 60% is sufficient or else a master degree in relevant discipline with 55% mark in aggregate from a recognized institution or university that is required. Either this one or else this one. And minimum work experience, nil for those fulfilling the above condition for qualifying test and minimum educational qualification. Okay, if you are willing to write for the examination, you should have this educational qualification. You not required any work experience. And three years of managerial experience for those who fulfill the minimum educational qualification condition but not taken or ineligible to take a qualifying test. Okay, such applicant will be administered by department of test to evaluate their eligibility, their candidate or not eligible for HRT. So, if you are having three years of managerial experience, okay, you are not uh, uh, like to write for the examination, okay, uh, minimum educational qualification you have, but you are not uh, take a test, okay. So, such kind of candidate, you will not eligible to get for stipend. That is all uh, that information also they have given. This information only for the management candidate if you are opting for PhD as well as for MS. And next, in what basis they will select, okay, um, the educational qualification point of view, it's over. In what basis they will select, in a sense, eligible candidate possess minimum educational qualification. That is what earlier which we looked. Satisfying uh, additional and stiffer criteria set by the department from time to time. They will change it, okay, whether you need to write a test, in a sense, you should write the test. Will be called for a test and interview or interview by the selection committee of respective department. They will conduct for test along with the interview or else for they will conduct only for the interview. That is what the thing they are mentioning over here. For the candidate who have obtained UGPG qualifying degree is applicable 10 years earlier as on the last date prescribed for receipt of completed application, a department test will be conducted. What they are telling in a sense, suppose if you have completed uh, the degree 2010, 2010, almost uh, right now 13 years over, right? So those who have completed 10 years after completing your PG degree, you people need to write the entrance test. Okay, that is what they are uh, telling over here. The application of foreign national may be considered without a personal interview or test. So the foreign national, they will not have a personal interview as well as the uh, test. Okay. So the brochure link I will give, I will show you from there. You can go through it. Suppose if the foreign national, you are coming to join for IIT majors. Based on the academic record and performance of the candidate, the interview or test, the department selection committee will recommend to the chairman. Okay. Depends upon your test as well as depends upon your academic record. They will suggest for the chairman as well as for Senate committee. Okay. And suitable for the admission of MS or PhD program. So from here, it's available both the persons as well as the stipend is also available. That detail and all we will look a little bit later. And if you want to go through for the full detail in a sense, you have to go over here research.iatm.ac.in and this link only this one if you're clicking that uh, if you're opening that one this is what the link will appear see here the last date of receipt of online application will be extended the april 2025 this is what the information i told you already and from here it's available all the information guideline for admission fee detail hrda category of admission terms and conditions and everything if you're clicking for guideline for admission it will come for brochure okay this detail and uh, from here only most of the detail we already looked and for the financial uh, assistant that is hasty or a 
नॉन हेस्ट्री और ये वी लुक अर्लियर राइट सो फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंट यू विल गेट इट फॉर पी एच डी एंड एम एस प्रोग्राम कैंडिडेट फॉर रेगुलर स्ट्रीम ओके दोज वो आर डूइंग फॉर पार्ट टाइम यू विल नॉट गेट इट एंड द दे शुड वर्क एट आवर्स पर वीक इन अ डिपार्टमेंट टू अर्न दिस असिस्टेंट ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट फॉर फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंट इन अंस यू नीड टू वर्क फॉर एट आवर्स पर वीक रेन्यूअल ऑफ असिस्टेंटशिप एवरी सेमेस्टर विल बी कंडीजेंट ऑन एनरोलमेंट सेटिसफैक्ट्री प्रोग्रेस because you are based on your performance only they will proceed further that is what the information they have given phd hdra they will give a fellowship okay for phd in a sense 37 per month for first two years they will give and third month on uh, third year onwards they will give each and every month 42000 for the next three years totally five years they will provide suppose if you are completing within three years in a sense that is well and good for the phd okay they are also eligible for hra as per goi norms government of india norms okay and ms by research and uh, those who are doing for ms they will get the fellowship of 12400 per month initially for 2 years additional 6 month with specific recommendation of gdc okay so depends upon that they will extend for these things so other scholarship like ugc jrf already they have completed for jrf for cscr jrf for dbt jrf nbhm and spear these kind of things national level test those who have completed in a sense so automatically you will get the respective fellowships okay through the funding agencies for the regular candidate this is what the information they have given as well as admission without assistantship considered admission to the phd and msc without assistantship as a part time external qip staff foreign national and project nstre these kind of candidate you will not get it for uh, research uh, stipends okay that is what the thing they have given okay and for uh, especially for management what all the specialization will be available okay uh, because uh, different specialization is available under management studies okay under the finance point of view these kind of uh, things is available finance business studies capital market venture capital development finance mostly all finance related things will be covered over here and uh, by the point of accounting if you are looking in a sense finance development public finance behavioral finance finance point of view it's not organizational behavior human resource for accounting point of view it's showing less so those who are doing for accounting you need to get touch with them for financial uh, person such kind of things will be available or not special for pure accounting those who are ready to do for phd okay so these kind of specialization is available for the management so as a same way in other student also you can look this brochure that is what the link i told you if you're going over here guideline for admission those who are appearing for phd you can go through it as a full things everything is available over here for uh, remaining specialized uh, students go through it after go throughing full information you can try to apply okay all the best for each and every one of you those who are going to apply for iit after looking this video someone has applied and after that you get for uh, iit admission if you selected in a sense leave a comment below this will help you helpful for other student also okay and really this video will be helpful just give a like as well as comment below really helpful to you then i will do it for more video for you and immediate notifications it will come to your notification board okay thank you everyone thank you for watching this bye